I'm going to be embarrassed if I've already recorded a video for this and just completely forgotten. That's a real strong possibility. Next game that I want to talk about in this independent RPG July per the Professor Dungeon Master video. Check out other videos in this series if you'd like. But the next game I want to talk about is Barbarians of Lemuria. This, I don't remember what this edition is specifically called. Oh, it's the Legendary Edition. There are several editions of this. I don't know the difference between them because it's the only version I have. I have been tempted to pick up one of the other versions, but I don't know. Anyway, this is Sword and Sorcery RPG, very much in the tone and style of what I think would make sense for Conan. But this is more specifically, uh, I believe, tied to Lynn Carter's uh, Thongar. I believe that is the case. Uh, I am not necessarily a big fan of Lynn Carter's Thongar stories, or Lynn Carter's writing, generally speaking. His editing, though, you know, he, he helped get a lot of uh, RPGs around. But anyway, I think this has a lot to offer for really capturing the essence of the sword and sorcery story, particularly the Conan type story, because it involves things like your character having multiple multiple careers before they start the game. You, know, you think about Conan, and if if all you know Conan from is the Marvel comics or even the 1982 Arnold movie, which is a fantastic movie, even if it's not a great Conan movie, all you know him as probably is a big barbarian who doesn't say a lot, beats a lot of people up, and kills sorcerers. Sure, okay. But when you actually read Conan, like, this, he had a lot of various careers. You know, yeah, he's a big guy, but he was a thief. Uh, he was a thief. He was a military leader. He, I mean, he was just a, a grunt soldier. He was a military leader. He ran, like, outposts and just, like, all kinds of stuff. The guy did tons of things in his career, and I like that this kind of recreates that. You know, you might start playing, and you've already spent time as, a, you know, a gambler or a mercenary or, you know, a, a, I mean, Sky Pilot might not fit in um, Conan, but, you know, you, you have these other careers, and so you can kind of draw on those yeah, maybe you were a torturer, uh, but you can kind of draw on those careers for experience and that kind of thing. Anyway, I think it's a really cool game. I would not use the setting because it's just not my cup of tea, but I, I plan at some point, if I can get people interested in playing in a Conan game, I plan to run a Conan game using this. It's been something that I've been planning to do since before I even got back into the tabletop hobby. So, you know, who, who's to say when that'll happen? But in the meantime, I would recommend checking out Barbarians of Lemuria. It's a pretty neat game, pretty neat system. It's rules light, and it's really rules light. It's not one of those stealth, crunchy games that pretends it's rules light. It It's very rules light, so, uh, which I like. I like that. I don't, I don't need to figure, you know, I want to run through the Fortescue Oscillator or whatever like that just to figure out what my two-hit bonus on the third Sunday of every month is if I'm wearing armor that hasn't been made by dwarves or whatever the hell if you're playing Pathfinder. If that's the way you like the game, good for you, but leave me out of it. Uh, anyway, check it out. Check out the links below if you have any desire to do so. Support me in any way that you wish. Like, subscribe, it's, it's free, it's fun, everybody's doing it. Okay, take care.